Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the Age of Sigmar Battle Boxes. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Battle Forces. Four incredible box sets for the festive season. Once again, it's time to reveal the big army boxes for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, a yearly tradition. These hefty boxes are a fantastic way of kicking off a new collection or adding to your pile of potential. All right, so only four boxes for Age of Sigmar this year. Slaves of Darkness, led by Eternus. Then we see Seraphon, Osiarch Bone Reapers, and finally we have Soulblight Grave Lords. Let's waste no time in checking out the contents of these four brilliant boxes. All right, so first we have the Primordial Star Host. Unleash a landslide of lizards with the Primordial Star Host, led by a Slan Starmaster who ensures that the cold blooded servants enact the Great Plan. This force is a mix of hard hitting units and nimble skinks. With a block of 10 Source Warriors, flanked by 3 Croxagores, who can also be built as Croxagore Warspawn, and 3 Agridon Lancers. They're supported by the Hunters of Haunchy, a warband of Chameleon Skinks that pepper foes with poison darts and send Terra Wings to Claw and Peck. Alright, so this is an interesting box right here. So we do see another Slan Starmaster, who was in the Seraphon launch box, but not in the Vanguard box. And then of course, some of the new Warriors and Croxagores. We see the Agridon Lancers, which haven't shown up in anything. And then, of course, we see the Hunters of Haunchy, the Warcry Warband with the Terra Wings. I think overall, this is a pretty nice box. There's a little bit of repetition between the Seraphon launch box with the Slan, and then also with the Vanguard box with the Soros Warriors and the Croxagores. But I don't think it's really that big of an issue. I'm not sure you're going to take two of the Slan Star Masters. You're probably going to take Lord Croak before you take a second one. But other than that, I don't think any of the redundancy is an issue. And of course, we'll do some future breakdowns where we go into the cost savings, take a look at which boxes combine well together and how you get to a 2000 point army and all that good stuff as well. But very nice box right here. All right. And then next we have the Praetorian Spearhead. And this is probably my favorite of the Sigmar boxes and what I think is the best. Those Yark Bone Reapers are a legion of relentless soul constructs charged with collecting the tithe of bones for the Lord Nagash. The Praetorian Spearhead falls under the command of Arch Cavalos Xantos, or a standard Liege Cavalos, if you'd rather build him that way, whose hatred of the living inspires those around him. He is supported by five Cavalos Death Riders, 20 Mortec Guard, a lumbering Gadazar Harvester, and four Morgast Archai, who can alternatively be built as Morgast Harbingers. So really nice box right here. I actually love this for just starting a new army or for an expansion force. Archlord Cavalos and the Death Riders are great. You get some Mortec Guard, but it's not like an insane amount of them. And then the Morgast as well, two sets of them. And then of course a Harvester. So I really like this box set. I think it's great. It goes well with the Vanguard box and also goes well on its own. The only issue is that you do have the special character in here, but he has an alternative build. So you could potentially even pick up like two of these. Very, very nice box set. All right. And then we have the War Horde of Eternus. Archeon rules the endless legions of the Slaves to Darkness with a hell-wrought metal fist, but Bellicor has long been working to undermine him. Eternus, Blade of the First Prince, is a prime mortal agent, leading three Ogroid Theradons, five Chaos Knights, five Chaos Chosen, and ten Chaos Warriors. But there's a twist. Build Eternus as a Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount, and you've got a force loyal to Archeon, or have you? We've lost track of who works for who. All right, so very cool. Once again, we have Eternus could be built two different ways. So if you don't want to go the route of Eternus and his rules are pretty bad, the Castle Lord on Demonic Mount is basically like the generic version and a little bit better. Don't get me wrong, Eternus has some cool rules and everything and it's thematic, but he's definitely not like the optimized choice. Uh, but five chosen are excellent. Matter of fact, most people are taking a block of 10. Same with Chaos Warriors, Chaos Knights. The Ogroid Theradowns hit pretty hard. They're a little bit fragile, but you do see them in some lists. So there is a little bit of redundancy with the Chaos launch box for the Slaves to Darkness, but that did come out quite a while ago. And also with the Vanguard box, you're going to see some redundancy with the Chaos Warriors and Chaos Knights. But most of the time you're taking at least two of each or just one big block. So again, really nice box set right here. A little bit of overlap with some of the stuff recently released, but when it's all said and done, very nice. All right. And then last but not least, actually, I take that back. In my opinion, this one is the worst box set. So we have the Vangorian Court. Few creatures in the mortal realms feed with such gory abandon as the monstrous Vangorian Lords. These bestial vampires may have discarded their noble facade, but they are still capable commanders who can control entire legions of the undead. Vangorian Court contains a contingent of five blood knights, 20 death rattle skeletons, 10 dire wolves, and three foul bats, and a Vangorian Lord, who can also be built as the legendarily fearsome Laukavai, Mother of Nightmares. 
So to me, this is the worst box. It's still not terrible. The Vangorian Lord is not bad. The Dire Wolves are pretty good. Fell Bats aren't terrible. You're going to have some Death Rattle Skeletons. You're going to have some Blood Knights. But overall, it kind of feels like there is a unit missing from this box set to kind of like keep up with the other ones. Also, the last year Christmas box set had the Vangorian Lord in it too. So not only did they get one of the box sets last year, but they get one this year too. And then on top of that, we have the same sort of like centerpiece model. It's not a terrible box. We'll have to see the price on this one, but the value inside of here definitely does not keep up with some of the other boxes. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now back to the video. All four of these Battle Force boxes will be available to pre-order soon, so make sure that you have plenty of cans of spray primer at the ready. Six more Battle Forces for Warhammer 40,000 will be revealed later today, so keep an eye out for them. And we already did the breakdown and everything on those. And then keep your eye out because we will do some in-depth videos into these Christmas boxes for how to expand your force. Do you want multiples of a single box? Are they going to go well with the Vanguard starter boxes to build a full army? And then of course, not only like points and army building, but the value as well. So let me know which of these boxes you're most excited about, which ones you're hoping to pick up. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. And as always, special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to save 15% on Games Workshop products. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.